Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. I'm so glad you can join me today. Today's class is focused on improving hip mobility and flexibility. We'll be working through a series of poses designed to open the hips, release tension, and increase flexibility. Before we begin, I'd like to thank all of my amazing YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Your generous support keeps Five Parks Yoga creating new classes on a consistent basis, and we appreciate you beyond words. If you'd like to learn more about helping support Five Parks Yoga, head to fiveparksyoga.com support. You can also help out by hitting that subscribe button and giving this class a thumbs up if you like it. Okay, let's get started with our class. If you have props, blocks, bolsters, cushions, pillows, anything like that, um, if your hips are super tight, go ahead and grab those. I'll tell you how to use them. And if not, no worries. We're gonna start on our back in reclined butterfly pose. All right, let's start in Supta Baddha Konasana, which is reclined butterfly pose. You're gonna take the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. Now, if your hips are really tight and you want support, you can take a block or a pillow or a bolster or whatever um, to the outside of your knees so that they have rest or support while they rest open. Okay, if you want a bigger stretch, you can let your knees fall down toward the floor and you can even pull your heels in toward your sitting bones or your hips. Now, you can take whatever position you want with your arms. You can rest your arms alongside your body. You can place your hands on your body, like one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Whatever feels good, relaxed, and comfortable. Okay, so we're really focusing on the lower half of the body, letting it just open, release, and relax. I'm gonna guide you into some focused breathing just so that you can arrive here on your mat and be present. So just begin by taking a big inhale through your nose, holding it at the top. When you're ready to release it, open your lips, and slowly let it go. Just feel your energy settle on that exhale. Let's do that again. Breathe in through your nose. Pause, open your mouth and let it go. Nice and slow. You might have a different rhythm, pace, breath, lung capacity, and that's fine. Just make it your longest and slowest and smoothest breaths of the day. Let's do one more like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. you have ujjayi pranayama in your practice, you're just gonna breathe in and out through your nose. So as long, slow, and smooth as those, as those previous three breaths, but this time with your lips closed, gentle constriction to the back of your throat. All right, continue with that breath, and we're going to focus again on the lower half of the body as we warm up. So from here, take your hands to your knees. If you have props, just move them out of the way and then bring them back to center. And then just gently hug them in toward your chest. So not tight, loose. So take your hands on top of your knees and start to draw, draw circles in one direction. For five, four, three more. All right, and let's reverse direction. We're just massaging out the low back and then really gently compressing the hip flexors. Just starting to notice the hips for three more circles. Okay, we're gonna come back to center. Now we're gonna hug the knees in tighter. So take your toes heels and knees side by side and see if you can wrap your hands around, your arms around your legs, but reaching for opposite hand, maybe wrist, maybe elbow, 
nice tight compression. And then actively drawing your knees in, but pressing your tailbone down. So you're flattening your spine out. If your hips are tight, you might feel a lot of tension here. So the hip flexors contracting. All right, we're gonna stay with this um, compression as you extend your left leg long, just keep your right knee hugged in. So your hands are now around your right knee, bring it up toward your right shoulder. Okay, so deep compression here. You can flex your feet back so your legs are really, really active here. And really use the strength of your arms to find a deeper compression into the right hip. All right, now relax the grip on your right knee, bring it back towards center, bring your left knee in, take your hands around your left knee now, extend your right leg long. Okay, flex your feet back, now bring your left knee up toward your left shoulder. Use the strength of your arms for a nice tight squeeze here, compressing the left hip. All right, now relax the grip on your left knee and plant your left foot on the floor. Bring your right leg to join it. So right foot planted on the floor, knees pointing up, bringing your feet to hip, or sorry, to mat distance apart. Now start to windshield wiper your legs. So just swaying them side to side. Even and out. So one more on each side. And then bring your knees to the right and set them down on the floor. Bring your arms to a goalpost position. If your hips are pretty open and this feels good, bring your right foot on top of your left knee. If it's too much, just keep your right foot on the floor. But with your right foot on your left knee, you're using the weight of your leg to bring your left knee a little bit closer to the floor. You can even give it a little press. Again, if it feels good. I don't know what you're dealing with in your hips, but everyone's gonna have different range of motion. So I'm just giving you suggestions. So let's come back to center. Bring your knees to the left. If you want to, you can take your left foot on top of your right knee. And if you want even a little bit more, Press your right knee down toward the floor with your left leg. Otherwise, your legs, your feet are staggered. All right, let's come back to center. Once again, draw your knees toward your chest, loose grip, and let's just roll up through seated. Make your way to tabletop. We're gonna continue with the hip warm up. All right, so make sure that your knees are right underneath your hips, shoulders right over your, your wrists. Bring your right leg up into a 90 degree angle as if you could stamp your right foot on the ceiling. And let's do that. So let's lift the right foot toward the ceiling and then bring it back to hip height. Lift and lower, lift and lower for two more and lower, last one. Okay, bring it back to hip height. Now you're gonna take big hip rolls. So you're gonna bring your right knee toward your left knee, circle it down, around, out, up, and back to center. All right, so that's two, and we're doing five. Three, four, five. Come back to center, and then Take your left hand, reach it around for your right foot, and we're gonna come into swan pose. So you're gonna start to kick your foot into your hand and open up the front of the body as you lift your chin, lift through the crown of your head. You're getting a little balance here. You're on your left knee, your right hand. And bring your left hand back to the mat. Bring your right leg out to the right. Place your foot on the floor. Right heel behind right toes. To tuck your left toes under, hip to heel, walk your hands forward, bring your forehead down towards your mat so you're stretching through your right inner thigh. Take a breath in and out. 
come back to tabletop. Let's do that on the other side. So bring your left leg up, 90 degree angle, flex your foot and let's stamp it on the ceiling. So lift and lower for five, four, three, two, one. Big hip rolls. So coming through center, around, up for five, four, three, two, one. Let's kick it back. Take your right hand toward your left foot. We're gonna open the left hip flexor. So kick your foot into your hand, lift your chin, opening up throat center, the whole front line of the body here. Getting a little balance work, left hand, right knee. Alrighty, now place your right hand back on the floor. Bring your left leg to the left. You're gonna place your heel behind your toes. Tuck your right toes under, hip to heel. And walk your hands forward, forehead to your mat, toward your mat. Big breath in. And out. Alrighty, come back to tabletop and make your way to downward facing dog. We're gonna take five breaths in downward facing dog. I invite you to take any movements that feel good in your body. Okay, you can lift and lower the heels, sway your hips, shake out your head. And two more breaths. Bend your legs a lot. Walk your hands back toward your feet. Drape your torso over your thighs. Come into ragdoll, maybe taking opposite hand toward opposite elbow and swaying side to side or just hanging heavy here. All right, so let the weight of your arms and the weight of your head traction your spine. So legs are bent. We're working on lengthening the spine versus the hamstrings. So take one more breath here. Release your hands to your mat. You can keep your feet at hip distance apart or heel toe your feet toward one another. On your next breath in, take a halfway lift so you're gonna begin to straighten the backs of your legs. Exhale, Uttanasana or standing forward fold. One more time, breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, standing forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Reach your arms out to the side, and on your next breath in, rise up to Tadasana. Tall mountain, reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, cactus your arms, opening your chest, lifting your chin, opening your throat. Breathe in, tall mountain pose. Breathe out, standing forward fold. You can swan dive, hinging from your hips, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, standing forward fold. Walk your hands forward, come into high plank. Remember, you can support your high plank by taking your knees onto the floor. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Shift forward, lower all the way down. Bring your right arm straight out to the right, palm facing down, left hand stays where it is. You're gonna roll in the direction of your right arm. Bring your left leg up and over. Plant your left foot on the floor. Knee is pointing up toward the ceiling. And then rest your right ear down on your mat. You can play around with this. If you want to be really active, you can just draw your left knee further to the left. Or you can just let it hang out here with your left foot planted. If you really want to get spicy here, you can reach your left hand around for your left foot and then just kind of kick it back. It's opening up the front of the leg and again, the hip flexor a little bit more. So your body, your class, your choice. All right, come back to center. Extend your left arm to the left, right hand underneath the right shoulder, left ear to your mat. Reach that right leg up and over. Plant your foot on the floor. Again, hanging out here, or a little more active, drawing your right knee toward the right. 
or you can bind by taking your right hand towards your right foot, kicking it back. And bonus, you're getting a shoulder stretch this whole time. But our attention and our awareness is really focused on the hips. So we're opening up those hips, opening up the fronts of the legs. Come back to center. On your breath in, let's take a cobra pose. So peel your chest up off the floor. Breathe out, lower down. Take your hands to mat distance apart. Tent your fingertips. Breathe in, lift up. And release your left shoulder in, look to the right. Come back to center. Dip your right shoulder in, look to the left. Come back to center. You can hold here upright. You can lower down a little bit. And then we're gonna take our toes, our big toes, touch your big toes. Bring your knees wide, lift a little bit higher. See if you can touch the back of your head towards your toes. Okay, a little scorpion tail here and our cobra. Combo of animals there, lower down. Your legs are in the perfect position to press back to a child's pose. All right, this is one of the best postures for opening up the hips. So bring your hips to your heels, walk your hands forward, rest your forehead down. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Okay, we're gonna return to that position we're gonna work on hip mobility here. So we're gonna take that high cobra with scorpion tail. So, ready? Okay, shift forward, shoulders over wrists, bring your toes toward the back of your head, lift your chin up, child's pose, press back. Let's do that again. Press forward, open, press back. You can do this with the breath. So breathe in, press forward, breathe out, press back. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, press forward, breathe out, press back. And this is your last one on your own. Let's make our way back to downward facing dog. We've already been here. All right, let's take three-legged with open hip. So lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. Pause here, you can take um, circles of the ankle if you want. Straighten and bend the leg, whatever feels good. Okay, level out your hips, straighten your leg, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Wide-legged low lunge here. Begin to straighten through your right leg and then come into that lunge again. As you come into the lunge, press your chest forward and lift your chin. Rock back to a straight leg or in the direction of straight. Come forward, lunge, press your chest forward, lift your chin, and one more time. Come forward, lift your chin, and then we'll pause and take the deep stretch later. So for now, lift your right leg high, up and back, three-legged dog, and then place it into low lunge. So right foot between your hands. Breathe in, come up to crescent lunge. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna dip your knee down, cactus your arms, press back to crescent lunge, and then open to warrior two. All right, so our hips are open to the side in warrior two, we have a nice low lunge with the right knee right over the right heel. All right, stay low on your lunge. We're gonna reverse warrior. So slide your left hand down your left leg, reach up and back, and then come into triangle pose. You're gonna straighten your right leg, reach your right arm forward, arms come parallel to your mat, reach your right hand down to a block or the floor or your shin, left arm up. Roll your left hip open, and then lift through your left fingertips, so don't <clears throat> rely on your right hand. You wanna use your core to hold you in position. And then on your next breath in, come up to star pose. And guess what we have to do in this class? 
horse stance or prayer squat. So bring your hands to your heart, sink low into your hips. All right, we're really working on mobility here. So go ahead and sway side to side. And then bring your hands onto your knees, pause at center, breathe in, and then go ahead and dip your left shoulder in. And with your hands, press your knees back toward the back edge of your mat. So you're getting a nice stretch in your inner thighs, a twist in your spine, of course, that's a bonus. So you're sinking deep into your hips. Maybe you're not this far down. Maybe your hips are super tight, you're higher up. Ooh, just try and sink down a little bit. Okay, let's come back through center. And then right shoulder in, look to the back of your mat. Sink as low as is, you know, right on the edge for you. So you wanna stretch. Come back to center. Bring your hands back to your heart, your shoulders right back up over your hips. Rise up to star pose. And then we're gonna take standing straddle splits. So bring your heels behind your toes. Hinge from your hips, come all the way down. If your hamstrings are really tight or your hips are tight, you can use your block. And then rest your hands on your block. Or you can reach your hands toward your heels. Or you can rest your hands underneath your shoulders. Lots of options. <clears throat> Let's work on mobility again here. So come up to a halfway lift wherever you're at. And let's side lunge to the front. Keep it high right now. So we're not gonna go into full skandasana, really low squat, so keep it high. All right, and then come back to the other side. And then back to the front. Back to the back. One more time to the front. To the back. To the front, and now if it's possible for you, go ahead and come really far down into your lunge. Otherwise, stay high up and just work here, okay? If you wanna add a little bit more to it, you can take your hands to your heart. And then wherever you're at, so if you're in a high lunge or a low side lunge, we're gonna take a twist. So bring your right hand down toward the floor or you can rest your elbow on your knee or reach your left arm up. Okay, now we're going to slide to the other side. So just circle your left arm down in front of you and come to skandasana on your left leg. So very low side lunge. You can spice it up with hands at heart for balance, but we're all gonna take a twist whatever height you're at. So bring your left hand down to the floor or left elbow on your knee and reach your right arm up. Okay, now we're gonna do that same motion. Right arm's gonna circle down in front of you. We're gonna get, a, get the hang of this. So side lunge to the front. Twist, left arm up, circle it around. Side lunge to the back. Twist, left arm down, right arm up. Circle it around, side lunge to the front. Lift your left arm up, circle it down and around, side lunge to the back. Reach your right arm up, circle it down, and then come back into standing straddle splits at the front, or at the center of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, pause, bring your heels in, toes out. Rise up star on your breath in. And then return to warrior two, facing the front of your mat. Reverse warrior once again, low lunge. And then we're gonna take lounging lizard. This is really, really good for your hips. So you're gonna take your right toes out, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Reach your right arm back and sink your hips down. Okay, let's take a little rainbow movement here. So you're gonna lift your hips, reach your arm up and over, lower your hips, reach your arm back. Just two more times. Up and over, lower down. Up and over, and you're gonna circle it down. Low lunge, face the front of your mat. Step back, high plank, lower halfway down. This is not gonna be a chaturanga heavy class. So we're just gonna do a couple of these Forward facing dog, breathe in, this stretches and opens the fronts of the hips, fronts of the legs. 
Press back, downward facing dog. All right, you ready to do those movements on the other side? Lift your left leg up. Open your hip, bend your leg. Pause here, maybe take a circle or two. Straighten out your leg, level out your hips. Take your left foot to the outside of your left hand for wide-legged low lunge. Same thing on this side. Straighten your left leg and then lunge in as you press your chest forward and lift your chin. All right, press back. Press forward. Lower window. Press back. Press forward. Okay, and we're going to heel toe our left foot to center. So you're in low lunge, moving into some standing postures here. Rise up, crescent lunge. We're gonna take that cactus dip. So you're gonna cactus your arms, dip your knee down, press it up as you straighten your arms, and then open up to warrior two. Okay, find those points of alignment on this side. Hips are nice and open. Foot is firmly planted. Lunge is nice and solid with your left knee over your left ankle. Shrug your shoulders up, down. Gaze steady across your front fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle. So straighten through your left leg. Reach through your left hand. Arms are parallel. Left hand comes down toward your left leg, the floor, or a block. Right arm comes up. Remember that you're using your core to hold you in this shape. Okay, so you're not dumping weight into your left hand. Inhale, come up to star. Bring your hands to your heart for horse. Sink down into your hips, working on mobility again. So just sway side to side. You're just kind of rocking the pelvic bowl. And then just settle into center. Sink a little bit lower. Okay, rise up to star. Come down into standing straddle splits, heels behind your toes. Lower all the way down. Halfway lift, walk your hands forward for my very favorite pose, wide-legged down dog. Press your hips back. This is just so nice to get into the shoulders. Bonus hamstring stretch, nice long spine. On your next breath in, walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. Come up to a halfway lift. We're gonna take Skandasana to the front of our mats. Skandasana to the back. Low lunge to the front. High plank, step back. Lower chaturanga. Upward dog, if you don't want any chaturangas today, just go ahead and come back to downward facing dog and skip that little connecting vinyasa. Take a deep breath in and out. All right, let's pick up the pace and we're gonna add some postures and mix it up a little bit. So lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. If you want to, you can flip your dog or you can Come close to a flip and then float your right foot off the floor, reaching your right arm toward the front of your mat, or you can set it down, or you can stay in that open hip variation. Let's all meet at three-legged dog and make your way to wide-legged low lunge. Straighten your leg one time. Low, wide-legged low lunge, press forward. Heel toe your right foot to center. Rise up, crescent, cactus dip. Press up, crescent, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. 
Inhale, star. Exhale, squat, hands at heart center. Inhale, star. Exhale, wide-legged standing straddle splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge to the front. You don't have to go all the way down. Inhale through center, side lunge to the back. Inhale through center, low lunge to the front. Connecting vinyasa if you choose, otherwise downward facing dog. We're gonna flow through the other side. So lift your left leg up. We're just kind of creating some heat and mobility in the body. Open your hip, bend your leg. You can take that wild thing variation if you want. You can float your left foot. You can set it down. Three-legged dog. Wide-legged low lunge. One time. Straighten your leg. Bend your leg. Heel toe, left foot to low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, cactus dip. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse, triangle pose. Star, squat. Star, wide-legged standing straddle splits. Halfway lift. Side lunge to the front, side lunge to the back, low lunge to the front. And let's take lounging lizard with some movement here for our hips. So bring your left toes out to the left, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your left arm back. We're gonna rainbow the arm and lift the hips. So lift the hips, reach up and over, and lower. And again and lower. One more time. Up and over, low lunge, connecting vinyasa if you want. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. All right, lift your right leg up. Open your hip, bend your leg. If you wanna play with wild thing again, go for it. We're all gonna be back in three-legged dog. And coming into wide-legged low lunge. Now, release your back knee down. You have the option here. You can stay upright. You can lower down onto your forearms. You can twist and reach, reaching your right hand back toward your left foot, and if you want a quad stretch, you can bend your left leg. Okay, all of these options are great. We're definitely getting into the hips here. So you can roll onto the outer edge of your right foot if you want. If your left foot's on the floor, you can press your right knee open. If you're holding onto your left foot, you can just roll it open. And maybe you're still here in this wide-legged supported low lunge, that's great too. Your body, your practice, your choice. These are all just options. We're just gonna hold here for one more beat. If you're holding onto your foot, release it back down onto the floor. Heel toe, your right foot, back to low lunge. Tuck your toes, lift your knee, rise up crescent. One cactus dip, rise up crescent. Airplane lunge or airplane. Step confidently onto your right foot. Reach back, lift your left foot up off the floor. Take a breath in. Airplane lunge if you're not there already. Right up to crescent lunge. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Triangle pose or half moon pose. If you come into half moon, you're gonna step onto your right foot, lift your left leg up off the floor. This is like our little balance section. And then if you want that stretch and opening for your left hip flexor, you're gonna hold on to your left 
foot with your left hand and kick it back. This is called sugarcane pose or chapasana. Okay, if you're in sugarcane, come to half moon. If you're in half moon, come to triangle. And all of us are going to meet in star. Prayer squat. Star. Standing straddle splits. Halfway lift. Side lunge to the front. Side lunge to the back. Low lunge to the front. Lounging lizard. Reach back. Lower down. Right, uh, reach up and over. Low lunge. Lower your back knee down onto the floor and let's take crescent moon pose. This is a really good stretch to get deep into the hips. So lift your arms up. You can take your hands onto your right knee. Interlace your fingers. Press your hands onto your knee. Lift your chest. Maybe lift your chin. Sink down. So see if you can just release a little bit of tension here. This might feel like a lot. Breathe through it. Okay, it takes time and patience to build up that flexibility, that mobility. Maybe you're working with an injury. Maybe you're working with just chronically tight hips, wherever you're at. It's all good. Let's come into half splits pose. So bring your hands onto the floor. Begin to straighten out through your right leg. You can flex your toes back. Lower your forehead down towards your knee. We're just going to hold here for one inhale. And then exhale. Come back into low lunge. Lift your back knee up off the floor. Come into three-legged dog. All right, we're gonna take half pigeon legs from three-legged dog. So bring your right ankle over on top of your left knee, above your left knee, that's what I meant to say. Now, we're going to take our left heel out to an angle, sink your left, your hips down to the left, reach your arm toward the front of your mat, then begin to straighten your left leg and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Okay, come back into downward facing dog. All right, that was kind of asking a lot, so don't be frustrated if that felt like too much. So let's take those stretches on the other side. Lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. If you want to play again with Wild Thing, go for it. Just opening through the fronts of your hips. Okay, three-legged dog. Wide-legged low lunge. Okay, I'm gonna give you all of your options here. If you know where you're going, go for it. You can stay upright. Lower your knee down. You can bend your right leg, reach your left hand around for your right foot. Get that quad stretch, twist in the spine. You can roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. If your right foot is on the floor, you can press your left hand into your left knee. If your right knee is on the floor and you're facing forward, you can lower down onto your forearms. Maybe you're trying all of these variations and that's great. Maybe you're holding one, okay? And that's great too. So we're just gonna continue for one more breath. All right, heel toe, your left foot back to center last time. All right, lift your right leg or right knee up. We're going to come into crescent lunge. Cactus dip. We're taking our two balancing poses on this side if you want. Press up crescent lunge, airplane lunge, or airplane pose. So if you're standing on your left leg, lift your right leg up off the floor. Reach your fingertips back toward the back of your mat. 
if you're in airplane lunge, hold there. Everyone step back to airplane lunge. Lift up, crescent lunge. Open up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Triangle pose or half moon. Reaching your left hand forward and toward the floor. Maybe you're floating it. Okay, you're op stacking your hips, reaching your right arm up. Whether you're in triangle or half moon pose, if you want chapasa, bend your right leg. Take your right foot with your right hand. Kick it back, press it back. If you're in chapasana, return to half moon. If you're in half moon, return to triangle. We're all gonna come up to star. Squat. Star. Warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Low lunge. Lounging lizard. Reach back. All the way up and over. Low lunge. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Let's take half pigeon legs. So bring your left ankle above your right knee. You're gonna shift forward, bring your hips down to the right. You can float your arm up and over and then begin to straighten through your legs. So you're kind of in like a side plank pose with half pigeon legs and bend, straighten, bend, straighten, downward facing dog. Okay, let's work with pigeon legs. So lift your right leg up, come into half pigeon on your right side, bring your right knee toward your right wrist, your right toes toward your left wrist. Bring your shin as close to parallel as you can to the front of your mat. Again, this is gonna depend on your own body, your anatomy, your hip openness, okay? Now open through your chest by lifting up, lift your chin, and then you can come into sleeping pigeon. You can lower down onto a block maybe. Your hands, the floor. Hold here. Got two more breaths. We're gonna work with these pigeon legs. We're gonna take a lot of variations. So you can choose your adventure. All right, so you can stay right where you are if you're enjoying that stretch. If you want the quad stretch, we can play with mermaid if you'd like. So you can bend your left leg. Maybe you take hold of your left foot and pull it in. Maybe that's where you're at today. If you have mermaid in your practice or you wanna try it, bring your left toes into your left elbow crease and reach your left fingertips up toward the ceiling. Reach your right arm up and around, clasp your hands and then work toward facing your chest toward the front of your mat. All right, let's go ahead and release mermaid if you're in it. And then we're gonna come into deer pose. So everybody come back up onto your hands, bring your left knee toward your right foot. And then we're gonna turn to face the side of our mat. And from here, it's feeding time for the dog. From here, we're going to either use our hands on the floor for support or take your hands to your hips and you're going to press up onto your shins. So you're gonna open your hips, press them forward and lower down. And again, lift 
and lower. Again, if you're working with an injury or working up to strength, you're just gonna keep lifting and lowering while I talk. Don't be discouraged by this movement, all right? This is something we're working toward. Maybe this is no problem for you, and great. Just continue to build that strength, build that mobility. Okay, and we're gonna do one more. Lift and lower. All right, last hip opener on this side, and then we'll do this on the other side. So we're gonna come into cow face pose, cow face legs. Lift or bring that left leg up and around. All right, so you're gonna work toward stacking your left knee on top of your right. All right, maybe that doesn't work for you, and that's totally fine. Your knee might be all the way up like this, maybe tight hips, you can sit on a block. Okay, we're just working in that direction. If you wanna add the shoulder stretch bonus, you can take your right arm up and over, left arm behind, clasp the hands, or you can take your left hand on top of your right elbow. Okay. Real focus here is on the lower half of the body. So if you wanna skip the arms, arms are just bonus. If you wanna go deeper into the hips, you can hinge forward and round your spine, resting your torso on your thigh, and just resting your arms on the floor. giving you a lot of options. Work with what you've got going on in your body today. And maybe you can take a mental note and say, I'm gonna work toward that. And you can make it like a goal for yourself. You can practice this class since it's recorded every day. Maybe you can gain a little more hip mobility every single day. All right, go ahead and release. Let's take seated butterfly pose. So we did reclined at the beginning. And then we'll move on to the other side. So this is just even, evening us out. Soles of the feet together, hands around your ankles, elbows towards your knees, hinge forward. Take some deep breaths here. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you wanted to use your blocks or your bolsters again, you can rest your knees. If they're like way up here and this is uncomfortable, you can rest them on your block or your pillow or your cushion. Okay, and release. Come back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, half pigeon on the other side, left knee toward left wrist, left toes toward right wrist. Try to arrange your shin so it's in the direction of parallel to the front of your mat. And then let's stretch and open the front of the body by lifting through the crown of the head and feel into your right hip flexor, the front of your right hip, it's nice and open and stretched out here. Okay, and then come down. Same variations on this side are available to you. So if you have a block and you wanna rest your head, oh, it feels so relaxing. If you wanna go deeper, you can rest your forehead on your mat. I didn't offer this vari variation on the other side because I forgot about it, but you can try it. Sometimes in this posture, I like to take a little bind. So bringing right hand toward left glute. So slide it underneath your left thigh and then bring your left hand back and just rest your arms on your mat and rest your forehead down. It's kind of a nice break for the shoulders. Okay, that's just variation. All right, I'm gonna walk you through mermaid on the on this side, if you wanna just stay in whatever variation of pigeon, that's fine. So bend your right leg, take your foot from the inside, and just draw your left foot in, maybe to your elbow crease, maybe not. This is my tighter side. Everyone, almost everyone, has an imbalance. That's totally normal. All right, you can take your hand up, Reach your left arm up and over. I can't bind on this side, but you know what I'm talking about. So see if you can take the bind and then face your shoulders toward the front of your mat. Mermaid. Okay. And release your right leg. Everybody come back up onto your hands. And then we're gonna come into deer pose. We're gonna work on that hip mobility movement on this side. So bring your right knee toward your left heel. 
And again, you can use your hands for support, so lifting and lowering, like so. Or you can take your hands to your hips, lift, stretch, and press forward, and lower down. Okay, lift and lower. We're doing five, so that's four, three, two, and one. Okay, cow face. Bring your right leg up and over. So we're working toward stacking the right knee on top of the left. Sit up nice and tall. If you want cow face arms, you can take your left arm up and over, right arm behind, clasping your hands behind your back. This is just bonus shoulder stretch. Tricep opener, all the good things there. Or if you just want to focus today on your hips, you can round forward, rest your torso on your thighs, if that feels like a lot for you and you have a block or maybe a bolster, you can also stack some blocks here and just rest your forehead. Just giving you lots of options. I'm gonna take another breath in cow face. Legs. All right, now we're gonna do one more big hip opener called hero pose. So for hero pose, you're gonna come onto your shins. If your hips are super duper duper tight, totally fine. We're working in that direction. You can sit up on a block. Maybe you're like really high like this. Okay, that's fine. Knees together, feet separated. If you're utilizing a block in this way, you can just start to lower the block because there's um, basically three different options there, height wise. Okay, so play around with that or hips, knees, ankles nice and open, sit your hips between your heels and maybe you wanna go deeper and bigger. You can come back onto your hands, maybe your forearms, maybe the crown of your head, maybe all the way down to your back. Reclined hero pose, Supta Varasana. Take another breath here. All right, if you're reclined, make your way all the way back up. We're gonna release by coming into tabletop position and then stretching your right leg back, rock, rock, rock. Tabletop, stretch your left leg back, rock, and rock, and rock. All righty, cross over your ankles, come to seated. Let's take one seated spinal twist, since we did a recline twist at the beginning of class. So lift your arms up overhead, and as you breathe out, big breath out, left hand to right knee, right hand out behind. Complete your exhale as you twist and look. Breathe in, lift your arms up overhead. Breathe out, right hand to left knee, left hand out behind, twist and look. Breathe in, arms up overhead. Breathe out. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Now, from here, switch the cross of your legs. Maybe you're in half lotus or full lotus or cross-legged. So just switch the cross of your legs and then hinge forward. Reach your mono fist up and over the back of your head. Exhale. Come all the way back up. Lower down onto your back. And then let's take happy baby. Just the best hip opener. So separate your knees and feet. Maybe hold on to your thighs, calves, ankles, peace fingers around big toes. Now rock side to side. Massaging out your low back. We took hip circles in the beginning, massaging out the low back. So just remembering what that felt like at the beginning of your class. Maybe you're holding happy baby in stillness, that's fine as well. 
Maybe you're playing around by bending and straightening one leg. That's an option for you. If you're moving, come back to center and one last exhale, pull your knees a little bit closer to the floor. Using your arm strength, pull, and then bring your knees back to center. Bring your forehead towards your knees. Say thank you, body, mind, and breath for showing up today. And then coming into Shavasana. Legs long, arms down by your side. Take a deep breath in, hold it at the top. Big exhale through your mouth. Close your lips. I'm gonna guide you into Shavasana and then I'll just let you be. So take a body scan, just noticing your toes, feet, and ankles. Relax your toes, feet, and ankles. Notice the backs of both legs. Feel them getting hot, heavy. Notice the fronts of both legs. Feel them softening. Now bring all of your attention and your awareness to your hips, your pelvic bowl, the junction between your femur bone and your hip bone, your hip sockets. Notice and feel the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons that connect the lower part of your body legs, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, to your hips, and just relax and soften. Notice your torso, the front of your body rising up as you breathe in, the back of your body softening up, softening down as you breathe out. Notice your fingers, your hands, your wrists. Relax your fingers, your hands, your wrists. Notice the backs of your arms rolling toward the ceiling. Notice the fronts of your arms resting heavy on the floor. Relax your arms, relax both arms. Notice your chest and your shoulders. Feel them softening down to the floor with each breath, with each exhale, softening more and more. Notice your throat, your neck, the front of your throat, the back of your throat, the back of your neck, softening. The air flowing smoothly and softly through your windpipe into your lungs and then just notice your whole head. Notice your face, your jaw, your cheeks, your forehead. Notice your ears. Notice the back of your head, heavy, heavy, heavy on the floor. Notice your mind softening with each exhale. Notice your whole body, the back of your body on the floor, the front of your body facing up to the sky, open, vulnerable, relaxed. Stay here, or if you'd like to join me in closing, you can wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Roll your wrists, your ankles, stretch your body long. In your own way, make your way up to seated if you're joining me for closing. Otherwise, rest heavy in Shavasana, enjoy it. But I'd like to thank you for joining me for class today. Take a deep breath in.
days to go forward. May you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart, and peace in your hips. From my heart and hips to yours, namaste.